You guys are going to want to stick with this video. This is going to be entertaining as fuck. Okay. This is the gentleman who said originally, Obama's GDP was the worst in 70 years. So I pointed to these GDP numbers going back to 1990 to show that that's inaccurate. And this GDP comparison between the Obama years in blue and the Trump years in gray, showing that his GDP, he had GDP years better than Obama or the better than Trump's years. But apparently that's not what he's talking about. He's talking about the cumulative, the average GDP over an entire presidential term. How do we know this? Because he shows us this in the comment section. Down here, when he gives us the average of Carter's four years, Reagan's eight years, Bush's four years, Clinton's eight years, W. Bush's four years, and then Obama's uh, eight years. He gives you the average GDP of the years. And, and that is correct. If you take the average GDP of Obama's eight years, it comes out to 1.62. But then when he's called out on Trump's GDP, what does he give you? 2017's numbers, 2018's numbers, and 2019's numbers doesn't give you the cumulative of Trump's four years in office and leaves off an entire fucking year of Trump's presidency and tells the guy, math clearly isn't your friend. And calendars are clearly not your friend. Trump served four years in office, not three. So let me get this straight. I give you the year-by-year -year breakdown of Obama's GDP, and you go, nope, can't do that. We need to take the average of all of his years in office. But when we talk about Trump, we don't talk about the average, and we give a year-by-year -year breakdown. And on top of that, we leave off the last year. I can make anything look good if I erase the bad, right? If I tell you, if you only take my weight from 7th grade through 1995 when I finished traveling across this country, I was never fat a day in my life. See how that works? If I just cut off the fat years, I don't have to worry about ever being uh, fat, right? How about if we just take the good years from Obama? Uh, you say that we can cut off a year, the worst year that, that Trump had and take it by a year-by-year -year breakdown. Let's cut off the worst year Obama had and take it by a year-by-year -year breakdown. Y you guys finagle the facts worse than fucking anybody. And you don't even see what you're doing by arguing that we need to take the average of every president's year, except for Trump, we're going to break that down year by year, and we're going to leave off a whole goddamn year. That's not the only thing this fucking guy said, folks. He said COVID-19 lost jobs. Trump added 12 million jobs in 2020, which is inaccurate. You don't get to put 14 million people out of work, put 12 million of them back to work, and say you added jobs. And oh, by the way, that is the number. 14.6 million private sector jobs lost during second quarter 2020. And you're bragging that 12 million of them went back to work by the end of 2020. Which, even if we were to count them as added jobs, which they're not, they're people returning to work, you would still be 2.6 million jobs shy of getting back to where you were at the beginning of 2020. In addition to that, he does go back and say GDP grew $200 billion in 2020, fully recovering to $22.5 trillion. Except the economy, the GDP did not fully recover under Trump in 2020. He also says Trump set the record for highest GDP growth in U.S. history, which is wholly inaccurate. And then when he's called on his bullshit, he says, I'm never wrong. By the way, U.S. economy closes out 2020 with lower than expected 4% gain. Gross domestic product in the U.S. grew at a 4% annualized pace in the fourth quarter below the 4.3% Dow Jones estimate. Full year GDP declined 3.5%, the worst year for the U.S. since at least the end of World War II as a pandemic-induced recession took hold February. In the Commerce Report, the annualized pace closed out a 2020 that saw GDP overall decline 3.5% for the full year and by 2.5% from the fourth quarter of 2019. 
The economy fell into recession in February, a month before the World Health Organization declared COVID-19 a pandemic. The 3.5% decline is the worst year for the U.S. since the end of World War II. The fact that you are so confidently arguing how grotesquely wrong you are with your full chest, and then you have the unmitigated sack to tell somebody I'm never wrong is mind-blowing to me.